بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Hello everyone and welcome to This is Football Welcome to another stream Ladies and gentlemen Liverpool take on Arsenal in the UEFA UEFA in the English Premier League this Saturday Ladies and gentlemen And we've got a series of videos, a series of previews. There's so much for us to talk about. There's so much for us to unpack. There's so much for us to address this video right here, right now, Habibis. For once, it's not actually my fault we're late. I know I'm always late to my own streams. But you guys can hold that because lateness is greatness. You get me? When you subscribe to this channel, you already know we always late anyway. So you can hold that, you frauds. Make sure you guys are hitting the like button, whether you're watching this right now or on the replay. Um, big up to my guy Abdi has actually says watching this later on the way to Umrah. Big up y'all. May Allah accept your Umrah, Habibi. Love uh, my brother. Inshallah, may Allah accept your Umrah. Do not watch this stream because pro possibly cuss words will be used. You get me? And we want you to keep your uh, ablution as you're heading to Umrah. So may Allah accept, Habibi. Um, big up to you. Thank you so much for the super chats. Big up to all the super chatters. Big up to all the incredible people who have shown us all the love and support over the month of December. Guys, been absolutely elite. The goal is still the same, Habibis. We want to hit 25k subscribers before the end of the year. We are 500 subscribers away from 25k. Can we do it in the next seven days? Yes, we can with your help. How can we get there? Make sure you guys are sharing the videos everywhere. Make sure you guys are liking the video. Make sure you guys are subscribing to This Is Football. Big up to all the super chatters as well. All the people have supported this channel. I love you all. Get the likes up right now. Subscribe to This Is Football if you're not to do so. Ashraf says, finally managed to catch a live show. Hey, yo, man like Ashraf Ahmed, a.k.a. the fraudulent Moroccan, a.k.a. Saad's co-host with a super chat. Big up to you, Ashraf Habibi. Thank you so much for the super chat. And I appreciate you joining us as well. You bottled yesterday's stream. And anyway, let me introduce today's panelist, a.k.a. today's guy. There will be no pauses on the stream. You get me? Because we do things a different way on this channel. Last time I was on his channel on the Back Again podcast, back a blood clot again, I got roasted for the first 40 minutes straight by the super chatters. 40 minutes straight up getting roasted after roasted after roasted. They calling me Husari. They called me so many names, Husako, you know, for tobacco and stuff. It was an absolutely unbelievable stream. Make sure you guys check out the Back Again podcast. You know, it's just going to be, it was who shame. It was Husari. It was all the bad nicknames in the world. You get me? But we enjoyed it. It was live. It was an incredible podcast. I don't know when we'll be back. I'm sure we will be back as well for another Back Again podcast, inshallah, this Saturday or Sunday. Um, but the guy that's joining me to do this preview is the man, the myth, the legend, the icon of YouTube. And guys, I just want to say something a little bit personable here to, to you guys. If you are watching this right now and you want to achieve something in life, just go for it. Because three, four, five, six years ago, I was watching this guy on my android in jordan in malaysia in uae and if you told me three four five six years ago that i would be working with troops regularly on the back again podcast and he's coming on my channel to do a, to do an arsenal preview i wouldn't have believed you so he's an absolute icon of the youtube world and one thing i'll say about him that is probably better than any of the youtube compliments is as a person as a man one of the realest ones anytime i need advice or i want to ask him questions or you know sometimes we just have regular conversations or when we just want to say fuck flawless, you know, we always have a good conversation. Joining us on the channel, of course. The man, the myth, the legend, the icon himself, man like Troops, is back again. How are you doing, Troops, my guy? Let me make sure this mic is on point, blood, because the way this mic has been moving like a sideman recently, blood, you get me? But you know, so we're back again, you understand? Make sure you like the thing, make sure you share the thing, make sure you subscribe to the blood clot thing. You understand? Usab's going to need all the subscribers he can get, blood. He's going to need comfort in come, come, come Saturday evening. You understand? So you like, make sure you're there for Usab, blood. You understand? We'll be there for him on the Back Again podcast come Monday morning. You get me? Hopefully it'll be more carnage like it was. But big up the bro every time, you know, so we're there. Big up, big up. My guy, Troops, man. Big up to you. Ashraf says, proud of you, bro. Hey, big up to you, Ashraf. Big up. Listen, we came a long way. Came a long way. I still remember my first YouTube video. I done it on my Android on a stack of books, you know? 
just keep going keep keep persevering you get me and you'll all achieve the stuff you want to achieve in your life so speaking of achievements get the likes up subscribe as my brother troops has said big up to all people who have joined us from footy judge mo as well there's already 300 people in here we ain't even started yet so please hit that like button subscribe to this is football big up to abdi hassan Asra for the super chat. let's get into it troops you know first of all before we get to the liverpool preview and all that and before we start previewing and stuff let's just talk about your club a little bit tell me your your general overall thoughts about arsenal football club this season I think we started off slow. You get me? Um, I still don't think we've hit form. I still don't think we've hit our peak. I still think there's a lot more to come from this side, blood. You understand? You said no pauses. The way I wanted to pause right there, blood, it was very hard. You understand? But yeah, you know, say so we're over here, Jordan, right now. So you get me? we got to move a bit different now. You get me? But it, it was a slow start, but we, we're, we're, we're gradually picking up momentum. Um, we've done well in the big games um when i say the big games i mean like the tottenham the chelsea the man city game the united game you get me obviously newcastle is a big game now and so is aston villa but i don't look out for them games when the fixture list comes out i'm not looking for when we're playing aston villa away i don't give a shit when we're playing newcastle away i'm looking for tottenham united city liverpool and obviously going away to chelsea getting the point i was disappointed because we were piss poor, you get me? If we had actually performed how we performed in those last 10 minutes, we would have swiped them. The Tottenham game, it, it was a bit of the same. But then the United game and, and uh, the City game, we done really well in those games, you get me? And I think now we're starting to get into our form. The football starting to flow. Jesus is coming back into form, hopefully at the right time. Saka starting to cook a little bit more each week <coughs> as the weeks go by he's getting better you get me the only one i'm worried about is martinelli you understand but apart from everyone else like kai blood clark havertz you get me he's doing his thing now you understand so yeah blood i'm i'm, I'm i remember I'm, all the stuff you're saying about about the start of the season it's so yeah, different blood. to now like it's so different so different like bro the i remember every around. Team, like lewis used to get onto you, Flawless used to get onto you, even I used to get onto you with the Havertz thing, and now it's just like, oh my God, like, you're actually, we're actually looking at Havertz as a decent performance, even he scored the winning goal against Brentford, he scored against Brighton, he scored in the midweek game as well, I believe, in the Champions League as well, that's three goals, I think there's another fourth goal I'm missing as well, he scored, he scored, he scored two goal. in Champions League and he's got four in the league. Four in the league. Yeah, he scored. He scored two more goals. Like, he's been playing. I'd say probably since the international break. Since this last international break, he's probably stepped up a little bit. The Brentford game, 90th minute, he got your point. So, hey, now, now, now Havertz gets blood clot in between his name. That's something I wouldn't have imagined at the start of the season, you know. But he's elevated himself. Ne neither would I, blood. But but that's that's the thing. He's, he's playing himself into form. There's confidence there. He's not looking like the Chelsea Havertz, you get me? He's When I say to people like, yeah, he's playing good, they're like, whoa, how bad are the rest of your man then playing? But I'm like, he's actually playing to a level, blood. You understand? He's, he, he, it's not like he's he's playing good and the rest of the man them are playing bad. He's playing just as good as Rice, blood. You get me? Obviously, Rice is 10 times better than him, but the level that Rice is playing at, Havertz is playing at that same level, blood. You get me? So we're going to have to give him his props when it's due. And, and right now, the props are due, blood. You get me? Uh, he definitely deserves credit. So now let me ask you about the opposition. I want to ask you before, you know, we kind of unpack this whole preview and everything. Well, what, what have you made of my club this season? Liverpool Football Club this season. What, what do you made of us? You lot started well. Um, I was surprised at how well you started with the whole new midfield. I thought it would have taken a bit of time to get the cohesion, the fluidity, the chemistry going. But <clears throat> it looks like you've done that pretty, pretty quickly. You get me? Um, I've been disappointed by your front line, apart from Salah. Salah does what Salah does, you get me. Um, the rest of your man, them, Darwin. Um, I, I rate Diaz, but he's 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 been poor, to say the least, this season. Um, and in recent weeks, you're kind of just getting through games, but you're getting through the game either way, blood. You understand? But I just... 
I think that as, as I said to you that the first time you've had pressure on you was the Man United game. You get me? Like you had pressure when you went to Etihad, but the pressure you had at at um, Anfield, you get me? You were saying the only number that's missing is six blood. You understand? So there, there was no, a high no, expect. No. It's, it's I had to drop that blood. You understand? Like there was a high expectation. You're never me. gonna let that go. I'm never nah, gonna let that down nah, ever, no, 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 no. for the rest nah. of my life. I'm never letting nah. it down. Man said never six is the magic number, blood. You understand? But the the number did not. The number did not turn. No numbers turned up, blood. You understand? It, it, it was you need you, you you didn't even need a scoreboard in your watch along, blood. You get me? You could have just had the two badges and a timer. You understand? No scoreboard needed, blood. You get me? And you didn't really. Is this woman really pressing the buzzer now when she has? The key, like I gave her the key. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not even asking. I'm not even answering it, bro. No, no, no. Because I gave her the key. Yeah, I had to blood. I had to come true. Yeah, I had to jump a fence to get into my block blood. Yeah, I gave her the key so she can make the entrance. Yeah, and you're ringing buzzers. You're ringing buzzers after I gave you the key. Let me just one minute. Yeah, yeah. We got to uh, got to let her. In. Got to let her. Blood. <laughs> Why did I give you the key, blood? <laughs> I am absolutely crying. Man said he had to jump the fence and he's going to open her the door. Yo, unbelievable, man. Big up, big up. Yo, big up NRL. Big up all the guys in the chat until Troops opens the door. He gets me for his wife. Big up, big up to, to him and his family. Make sure you guys are hitting the like button. Make sure you guys are subscribing. Special shout out to Abdi Hassan Ashraf, guys. We have 520 people in here. We ain't even on 200 likes yet. Get the likes up. Some of you don't know how to like the video, so let me show you. This is you watching us right now. This is you watching us right here. Hit this X button. Hit this like button right here. Yalla, let's let's big up. <laughs> the whole chat crying, man. Big up, big up, man. Big up to, to you too. So with with us, obviously, it was disappointing against Manchester United. But I did DM you yesterday and asked you, are you watching the West Ham game? Has that game changed your mind on anything like heading into the game? Not not necessarily like fully changed their mind, but has it went like, whoa, now like I need to remember what these guys are capable of type thing. I don't know what to take, blood, because there was a lot of changes from both sides. You get me? West Ham made six changes. You made six changes. So... I don't know what to make from it. You get me? Like, Curtis Jones ain't going to be doing what he did against West Ham against us. You know what I mean? Like, running through the midfield. the Can Like, Canate running through the midfield. So, I, I I don't know. I don't know what to really take from it. You get me? Um, obviously, the goals for, like, Gakpo, um, Saboslai, that will give them confidence. The two goals for Jones probably got him back in the starting eleven for Saturday evening. But I, I, I don't know what to take from it, blood, because it was so many changes in the... Blood, I'm telling you, bro, this woman from like big man team. Why am I giving you the key, blood? Why am I giving you the key, bro? What's the point? Like, this woman, blood. But, like, yeah, for me, like, I lost my train of thought, blood. <laughs> Are <laughs> you like just... the player won't be doing the same stuff against Arsenal? This yeah, time, it won't be the really same. It, it, it will be a completely different game, blood. You understand? You got like older got like, not even older guys. So, you got like rice in the midfield. So, it's going to be hard for Jones to even have that opportunity to to make that kind of run you get me so obviously it's it's like like i said the confidence side of it is it's it's, it's going to help on, on that side but i'm not too sure what to take from it blood because when saturday evening come that's when the pressure's back on so it's 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 it's, it's how you handle the yep. pressure Yep, 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 yep. And this is what we're here to talk about, we're here to preview that game. So, um, uh, by the way, I love the fact Vel is just doing a blood counter in the chat. You're such a fraud, Vel. You're such a fraud. Man's doing, instead of doing a pause counter, we're doing a blood counter on the stream. Let's go. Hey, I'm here for it. Let's see how many we end up for by the end of the stream. Um, big up my guy, JJ Ash, who's actually an Arsenal fan, says, big up with some troops, my G, been a minute since I uh, last met you in Baku against Karabag. You two. Uh, you two should be in the best of enemies show that would be lit as fuck alongside the expressions. Shout out to expressions, keep the good work, lads. And oi, you la you lot smash them likes. Come on, you gunners, make sure you guys are smashing them likes. Big up to you, JJ Ashman. I appreciate Come on, you. Big up, JJ. And listen, big up. I actually got an invite on DR Sports. People don't know this, but then they realized I've been fucking Jordan. Like, how am I supposed to? Am I supposed to be, you know, one of them bad bees who gets flown out and shit? I refuse to be a bad bee. I had to get trying to get flown out and shit. So, you know, 
maybe one time inshallah i'll come visit anfield i'll stay maybe in the uk for two weeks or so do a couple of studio shows and shit but shout out to dr sports it was actually belgium who got me an invitation on on dr sports we got belgium as well oh shit shout out belgium every time yeah uncle belgium <laughs> right there me and him speaking on spaces every day you get me shout out belgium uh, big up expressions as well. He actually followed me on Twitter, but I've deactivated now. So yeah, big up, big up X, man. Big up. Um, anywho, Saturday, Anfield, my brother. Probably your your most your toughest game, I'd say, not in terms of rivalry or historical context, in terms of like it's been a while since we've won there type stuff. Um, I remember. Before we won 2 0 at the Emirates, it had been ever since Titi Kamara we hadn't won away at Arsenal, I think it was. So it was a really long time. And then we had to break that duck, uh, you know, finally. But it was in a season where Arsenal weren't really that good to begin with. So we kind of took advantage. Um, the Anfield test six months ago, Arsenal Football Club come to Anfield in a title race, 2 0 up. Uh, and then Granite Shaka does the madness. You get me? Um, and of course, we know what happened in that game after that. The 2 2 Liverpool just elevated themselves in the second half. Sorry, do you think, do you still think Anfield is, is your toughest away test in, in the year, or is it Etihad? I think Etihad's tougher because we got a point out of Anfield, we haven't got nothing out of Etihad. You get me? We've we've had draws at Anfield. In, in, in obviously not for a while, but we've had like there was a stage when it was just pure draws at Anfield. You get me two, two, three, three, four, four. There was mad, mad score. The zero very... double Joe Allen equalizer. I remember that. Game yeah, last well. minute the the fucking skirtle last minute equalizer. Like there's been a lot of games where I thought, yep, we're getting it, and then bang, last minute you pussy holes will pop up. But yeah, I, I would say Etihad's. Anfield's more tough because of the crowd, but Etihad's more tough because of the opposition. You get me? Like, I don't think it's the opposite. Like, I think it's the crowd that fucks us at Anfield. Like, we silenced the crowd last year. The crowd was silenced the year before at 0-0. And then something will kick the crowd off. And that's when it goes left. Do you understand? Whereas, like, this Arteta year... Really... the year before, last year, Shaka. You feel me? Whereas this year, like, we ain't really got someone that will lose their head. Like, Havertz will rattle you. He he won't really get rattled. Like, he'll do something to piss you off. You get me? So, I think I think if we were to go up 2-0 this year, the year it's done. Hey, you never say done at, at, at Anfield. Though. Nah, because so. we have a much better midfield. And, and we we never had... We went to Anfield last year with no Saliba. We went to Anfield with no Declan Rice. These men are in this team now, blood. You understand? And... Your midfield was more... It's considerably better as well. That's the thing. No it, Henderson. It, it was considerably no better, but them and there can handle pressure and rise at the big games and they perform in the big games. Whereas these men, they haven't like, you understand? You lost to Tottenham. You drew with City. You drew with United. You're really going to use the loss to Tottenham. You're such a nope. fraud. You no, no, no. But I'm just... No, nah, I, I know yeah. that. But I'm just saying like on the, like, on the actual... On the you know what it is? If VAR like... wasn't such a fraud, yeah. th this would be two undefeated teams yeah, but, playing. Yeah, we wouldn't have lost to uh, Newcastle probably... or Villa. This is the yeah, reality. Villa. People don't want to yeah. uh, say, you know, the, the Spurs game was a, was a fraud. The Villa game, I already said, listen, guys, Villa were, were like, Villa deserved to win that game based on performance. But at the same time, Arsenal, Douglas Luiz kicking the guy. That was a penalty. And the same thing with Newcastle. The Joe Linton Gabriella incident, we all saw it. You get me? That's why the PGML audio and the apologies and all that came out. So, this should have been right now two undefeated teams playing each other. And I feel like, <coughs> camera, I would slap the shit out of you. Just focus, you bitch. Anyway, so I feel like with, 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 with the game, it's it's two very good teams. There's a reason why it's first and seconds. This is this is the reality. We're not first and second for God no for no reason. Like we're just chilling. Like, no, we're first and second because we have been the two best teams in the league this season. And actually, there's something interesting. When me and you were talking about this game probably two, three months ago on the back again podcast, we're talking about the December period and stuff. We were we were more like saying it's gonna be Arsenal's defense versus Liverpool's attack. It's gonna be attack versus defense. Now we're looking at it more as defense versus defense. Because when you look at, at, at the statistics, Liverpool and Arsenal both have the strongest defense in the league. Liverpool's forward line only scored one more goal than Arsenal. So our goal difference is only plus one of Arsenal. So 
it's low-key our defenses that have actually elevated themselves above the forward line. And it's interesting because, you know, I look at Arsenal and Liverpool so much similarly in terms of forward line. It's like one guy, Saka, Salah on, on either side, and then the others just kind of like, not kind of like elevating in. themselves, you know, like Jesus, Inketia, whether even it be Trossard, whether it be uh, Martinelli. Same thing for us, Diaz, Nunes, Gakpo. Jota is missed, of course, but it's not like he's been tearing apart this season. So, like, it's kind of two people who have not really turned up, uh, sorry, turned up for us this season. And it's the other two that have letting us down. I mean, uh, you know, Troops thinks I say this to troll him, but Martinelli and Diaz having less goals than Richarlison, that's not acceptable. Like, you, you need these players to turn it up a notch because Saka needs a running mate. And I say this about my own club. Salah needs a running mate. Like, I'm going to perform, come alongside me and help me out. And God forbid if one of those two players have a bad game. Like, um, can we rely on one of you other guys for a game? Like, can I can I have one bad game and you two step up type thing? That's where I think it's actually been a problem for, for both of us. I don't know if you agree or not. <laughs> yeah, I do. Um, Saka does take a lot of the burden. Like, even in like, the way we play. Everything goes down Saka's side majority of the time. You get me? And if Saka don't do something, then you see. You're you're looking around, you're like, who else is gonna chip in? You get me? Right now you got Havertz chipping in, which is good. He's he's taking the he's taking the weight of Saka, but Jesus and Martinelli definitely need to chip in more. And 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 Trossard, you get me, and Ketia, they've all got to do more. That's that's why. I'm I'm on this tonating so much. You get me, Carl. I think if we get Tony, that's it. It's game over. He's a Liverpool fan as well, Tony. Let's get that in quickly. He's a Liverpool fan. He said this multiple times. Don't 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 claim it. And by the way, it's nothing bad because usually Liverpool fans are are very good players. KDB is a Liverpool fan. Players like that, you know. So if someone grew up a Liverpool fan, you know he's he's good as well. So. The way I'm looking at this, yeah. this Mbappe's an Arsenal fan. You get me? Hey, I have no problem saying that if he said that in an interview. But that doesn't mean you have a chance of getting him. That's the thing. And I don't think Arteta would handle his ego, actually. No, he can't handle big egos. Yeah. <laughs> it ain't happening. Hey, Mbappe would move to Arsenal. Arteta would get sacked three weeks later. You could just, <laughs> just smell it. Type yeah, thing. because yeah, you're mad. I'm picking... Uh, whoa, blood. Yeah, 100%. Mbappe, Mbappe will be absolutely elite. Um, big up with Sam and Troops. Thoughts on Nunez left wing, says NRL. I'll be honest with you. Me and Troops just spoke about it now. Diaz and Martinelli and stuff. Bro, I, I'm benching Diaz. I'm going to be real with you. I'd rather Nunez yesterday left wing. He had so much space to run into. He had so much to do. I know Klopp will probably start Diaz, which I dislike because I think it's a shit decision. Even yesterday, like... All, all our forward line played well. Gakpo played well. Salah played well. Elliot played well. Nunez, everyone. And then Diaz comes on and he can't even dribble past Kufal. I'm like, are you fucking taking a piss? Like, you can't even dribble past Kufal, bro. Like, come on, man. Like, it's just... I'd, I'd go with him left wing. Have you watched Nunez in uh, in, in the West Ham game? Or do, did you think he played well in the game? Yeah, but he was up against <clears throat> a man that hasn't played a lot of football this season. So, yeah, me, he, he, he's playing consistently. He's, he's going to get the better of him nine times out of ten. You know what I'm saying? But he was yeah. the only one that didn't score. He was. He was. He was. But he had that great pass to Curtis Jones, which is something I never say. Like, he had a great pass. Mm -hmm. So, to be fair to him, he's he's been... I think Diaz has been our worst forward, to be honest with you, this season. But, hey, he, he's not stepped up. Big up to all the super chatters. Um, and, by the way, just because you spend money, don't think you can insult the panelist or insult me, and I'm going to put it up on the screen. So, Michael, thank you, but hold that. Big up to all the super chatters. Make sure you guys are liking. Make sure you guys are subscribing. Everyone, please do hit that like button to subscribe. As my brother Jay says, make sure you're sharing it as well. 750 people are in the building. You get me, and rightfully so, because it's first versus second. You get me, so hit the hit the like button and subscribe to this football. So troops, let's just get into it. This game this Saturday, you know, we've kind of given all the previous context. We've spoken forward line defense, Arsenal this season, etc. Um, what 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 do you make of of the game this Saturday? How how are you feeling about it? I'm more confident after seeing how you played against United. Before then, I was kind of like, I'll take a draw. But after seeing that, like, I think we have to go there and win. And I think we're capable of winning. We're capable of opening you up. We've probably got the best defense. We, like, the numbers say you have a 
better defence by one goal. But <clears throat> if you actually look at the back fours, our back four is more... It's 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 been more... Like, our back four has been more consistent. It's, it's You lot have had different players in at left back. You chop and change at centre back. It's, you understand? It's only really Trent and Van Dyke that have been there. You get me? The rest of them, like, one, one minute it's Matip, one minute it's Gomez, one minute it's Canate. Obviously, Matip's injured now, unfortunately. Then you got, like, Robertson, Timakus. You understand? You got, like... Timakus has been balling out lately. He has, You've but our, out, like, our back four has been consistent the whole... The whole like that like majority of the season, you understand? Zinchenko? And, and Zinchenko's been good, blood. Zinchenko's been good. I've, I've said it. Like we, we spoke defensively, we've said it as well that the Zinchenko has improved like a lot defensively. You understand? It's only the the only it's only he's only made two mistakes this season. I can count. He's made two mistakes this season. That's it. Some and none of them, good. and 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 none of them cost us a game. You understand? It cost us goals. But it didn't cost us. It weren't like a oh, three two or oh, we lost it. Like you understand, it's Ben White. If anything, has made more errors than Zinchenko. You get me? Like it's it's real like that. You know what I'm saying? But I think that our defense is better. Obviously, the Declan Rice effect as well. Having Rice in there as well, just protecting. I think we got a good chance to go there and win blood, and we should. I, I don't think your defense is stronger. I think where you absolutely annihilate us on the pitch is actually midfield, to be honest with you, because you touched on it there with Rice and Odegaard and stuff. Our midfield ain't really been performing like that, to be honest with you, lately, specifically. Soboslai, you know, started off the season really well, um, you know, but then after that kind of dropped off a bit. Gravenberg is in and out the team due to his injuries. Curtis Jones, one game you watch like West Ham, the other game you watch like what the fuck this guy's doing. Funnily enough, since international break, I, I know you won't even like you probably saying this guy's crazy, but low key, our best midfielder Ben Endo, to be honest with you, like which ain't really a good sign, to be honest. So for me, when I look at Arsenal, it's not the defense and it's not the forward line, it's the midfield that I worry about because that midfield right there will walk through our midfield. This is the problem I have. This is what, what worries me. Like Declan Rice alone last season. By the way, people who don't know this, after the stream. Um, go watch Liverpool West Ham last season, the highlights. We beat them 1-0, but Declan Rice absolutely had a fantastic performance at Anfield, even with West Ham. He actually cooked. So, like, Declan Rice, the the Arsenal um, midfield is what worries me. But I think we could... we could. Your defence is not is not that. Like, you can see the three to Luton. Like, we can score goals against Yeah, but that defense. wasn't the defence, bro. That was David Rea. Two of them goals was David Rea, blood. Who was, who was at fault in the defence? None of them. It was Rea. If Rea saves, the, if Rea is, is, is literally his fault. It's none of the players' fault. The only error, well, well, the only goal you can say was the third goal. And that wasn't Saliba. That wasn't Gabriel. That wasn't Zinchenko neither. It was Ben White. You know, I know we're going to do Combined 11 later on on your channel, but... Yeah, go watch I, that, blood. It's, it's going to kick off over there, blood. You yes. get me? Because I, I'm going to surprise I've you. I've already got my blood. I've already got a team like in my head already like that I think it should be. So I know where I'm going to like be like, all right, whatever. And where I'm going to be coming hard. Bro, I'm sorry. Pause. I have to pause that one. <laughs> yeah, okay. That one, I cannot. That one, fair I don't enough. know. That would no. Fair you know what I'm saying? Fair. But fair. yeah. The, 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 yeah okay, without, without spoiling it, tell yeah. us how many Arsenal players you got in your mind. to, to Six. Drink. Oh, maybe it's the same six, as me then. Six, maybe seven. It could be seven. No, see, I, I think I will surprise because, wait, you. Wait, one minute. One. Two, three, four. Yeah, seven. Because there's four of I yours. think I will surprise you. I think I will surprise you on how easily I'm willing to give up something and how hard I will fight for one certain position. You, But listen, let's not spoil it. Make sure you stick around to, to watch mm -hmm. that as well because it will be out. When are you uploading it? Tomorrow? Yeah, 9 a.m. Okay. So tomorrow, watch out for that combined 11 because it's going to be... It's going to be... Certain positions we are going to fight. Hussam, I want to apologize for the smacking you're going to get this Saturday. Murad, all I want to say is, my brother, Habibi, football is a humbler. Because I got humbled <laughs> last Saturday. Now, I know Arsenal are a tougher test than Manchester United 100%. But for you to come up here and tell me you're going to smack us at Anfield, Murad, I don't know what class A drug you've been smoking. You need to relax a little bit. You need to remember what Anfield is, you know, talking about you're going to smack us. I'm going to need to relax. 
You get me? Because Liverpool are still a tough test for everyone. So you're going away to Liverpool undefeated if it weren't for that VAR disgrace. So, you know, let's like uh, easy there, pal. Easy there talking about humbling and destruction. Big up Murad because we are beating them, blood. You get me? We are defeating them. Yeah, so... but not smacking troops. Come on. Blood, if it's 2 0, we smack you up still. So, no, smacking is like 3 0. Nah, 2 0 away from home. That's in, in a big game. Yeah. So, if we went Etihad and won 2 0, we slap them. If we go your ground and win 2 0, we slap you, bro. Yeah, we, uh, that ain't gonna happen. But big up, Murad. Troops, no draw, bro. You know, when we win at Anfield, uh, trophy, uh, trophy sign right there, which means they win the Premier League. Big up to you, Steps World. I appreciate you, my brother. Isn't I'm that one. that guy from the channel, your channel as well, one of your guys, right? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Big up steps. Big up to James Boris, who says, I wouldn't be as confident about Arsenal shutting down Liverpool. Uh, Man United played a low block. Arsenal play like City, to which Liverpool got uh, years of practicing uh, playing against. And this is what I want to say, troops. You know, I feel like Man United game has kind of clouded people's judgment. I don't know if you agree with that a little bit, because it's kind of like, we need to remember, as much as Arsenal are better than Man United, Arsenal also won't park the bus which by definition will give Liverpool counter-attacking opportunities. Don't you think that plays a role in this game? We can open you up, though, blood. United never opened you up, blood. We can open you up, fam. You understand? The only opportunity they really had was the Hoyland chance. If that drops to us, we're taking that, blood. You understand? That will probably be Saka in that position. He's, he's slotting it. You understand? He, he's he's slotting it, blood, in front of the cop, blood. You understand? And, and we're going mental, Rube. Yeah, we're going mental, blood. Yeah, We're going fucking mental, blood. But, um... Uh, I'm yeah. staying humble because last time they blamed me for the result. Yeah, I'm so I'm just nah, going to shut gonna my lie. mouth if we that. win. If we win, though, troops, that shit that I will say, I will make sure Vel gets a clip of you. And they'll tell you about Vel. Vel's my editor. He's the guy that does my videos and thumbnails and shit. He's Big the up, biggest Bill. asshole. He's the biggest asshole. He's done I so need to many stop movies. making me Captain America as well, blood. I ain't no American, blood. I, I worked in America. I had an American visa. I am not American. There is me. I, I, I'm American. New York, Los Angeles. Nah, that's not me, fam. You understand? Jamaica will say United Kingdom. Yeah. So, I'm, 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 I'm. My guy was Batman. I'm not gonna lie, blood. So if if you wanna, yeah, yeah me. T Batman thing we had here with. But big up Vel, yeah. blood, and 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 free bigger Vel as well. Yeah, Max B, baby. Ow. Big up. Let me let me show you one of his edits. Look at. Oh, I can't remember how the dance goes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's violating you, blood. <laughs> he's taking the piss, blood. He's taking the He's piss. violated everyone. <laughs> he's violating, blood. Even the one I see before A-listers, that had me busting up this week. Yeah. <laughs> yes. He he's violated so many people, bro. He's violated Lewis. He's violated Hamza. He's violated... Oh, my God. The man. Hamza cookings are hilarious, blood. Yeah, they are. They are. Suraida actually violated Hamza as well with one of the clips. Big up to her for, for that. Big up to my guy, Lee Bernal, uh, as well. I see you on the Troops uh, podcast as well. Big up to you. He says, big up Troops and demand them Liverpool in a bong. Hey, I love the confidence. Keep it coming, you guys. Come on, my brother Lee. You know the vibe. Mm -hmm. Feeling confident. Uh, haha, I am not serious, brother. I know it's going to be a very good game from both clubs. Of course it will be. Of course it will be a very good game. This is why I'm telling troops. Do not use Manchester United as a measuring stick. Do not use it as a measuring stick. Because the no, same way... it's not going to be a good game. But I think we... I think we... I think we will get the win, blood. I think the time has come, blood. Like, you get me? The time is now. I didn't believe we could beat City away last year. Like... I thought we could beat you last year and we drew two. And when we was up 2 new, I was like, I was trying to shit on my stream. I was like, I told all you lot. He's about to shit. I told you lot, blood. And then fucking Jacker. I feel that same way going into this one where, yeah, we can do it, blood. You get me? I, I don't know who it is going to be this 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 time who just rattles Anfield or rattles the It's going to be Havertz, but he's not going to rattle. But Havertz is that, that the way he the way he does it is it's different, isn't it? Like, it's not like Xhaka where... You get me? He rattles your whole team. He'll just be like, it'll be a little like, mm, you get me? Where it don't even rattle the crowd. First, first. Hold up. When's the last time you beat us at Anfield? Come down, troops. The last time was 2010, no? Steve Ball just got the job and stuff. Defensive nah, 20, uh... 2012. Santi and Podolski. 
Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Where uh, Pepe Reina got beat on his near post. Oh, Pepe Reina's last years, bro. He was hard. I still remember that game. That game was actually a defensive masterclass for Arsenal, by the way. That's that's what that game needed to be. Abu Diaby masterclass, bro. Diaby. What what could have been? That's that right there. That you was Vieira blood. That yeah, was Vieira blood. If I make an injured XI of like players that could have been, but injuries ruined their career, I I think you would find so many players that you guys don't even remember or know like that. But Abu Dhabi is definitely one of them. Marco Royce, Daniel Sturridge, uh, Oxlade Chamberlain could definitely be up there. You know Oxlade Chamberlain, for people who don't know this, when he first broke into the scene, Bayern Munich wanted him. You were talking about the highest of the highest. That was Bayern Munich that just won the AUCL, by the way. That was like Bayern with Robin and Ribéry type thing. So, you know, when Bayern Munich signed a talent, you know, yo, this guy was on, on, on smoke. I can guarantee you if Arsenal opens up, they will get smacked. Guaranteed, I will be back after the 23rd, says Nelot Pal. Okay, Nelot Pal, we will see. We will see. Is the next Back Again podcast recorded or, or live this Sunday? When is it? Sunday? It's Christmas Eve, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I got a flipping re- yeah pre-record, pre-record first, yeah. first, first. But the one That's on the, the I think on. the one on the twenty, because I think the one we do on the twenty eighth will be live. I put it in the group chat though. I, I said twenty eighth. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, the Thursday one after the midweek games. No, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, after the midweek games. Mm-hmm. First, first. Yo, one second. It's December thirty one days. Yeah. Yes, it is thirty one. Thirty one. Big up my guy Josh who says I stopped eating just to say 3-1 Liverpool. You know, me and Josh have a running joke. This guy spends all his money on Uber Eats and strippers. So I said, Josh, it's time you actually spend your money on shit that matters. So ever since then, he stopped buying Uber Eats. You get me? And he's supporting the channel. Big up Josh. Big up Josh. <laughs> Fuck Uber Eats, blood. Big up, big up, Josh, man. Big up. Uh troops, what do you want in the midfield on Saturday? Have a Odegaard, Rice. Same midfield you played last time, I think. Yeah, because Partey's not fit. Oh, Thiago's not fit, Trofs. Wow. Like, nah, but, no, but Partey actually plays, blood. Like, Thiago don't fucking play, fam. You understand? Like, <clears throat> no, Partey plays, just like and, Thiago. And, and, no, Partey plays. Partey play, yeah, but Partey actually plays in some big games. Like, he's spliffed up Tottenham. He's spliffed up Man City. Like, he's played in big games, isn't it? Like, Thiago is anonymous, unfortunately. Fairs. Yeah, yeah. Thiago is just a fantastic player right there. But it's just, it's just, I don't know what it is with this whole injury stuff, man. You know, every time, every time you need Thiago, he's just not there. And I'm just sad that, like, I'm like, it's just, I, yeah, can I just have him That's for why one I say so, Partey, blood. Okay. He's not there, like, when I, like, when I'm, when I'm chilling on the ends and there's no trouble, you're there, blood. You get me? As soon as we go off the ends and we start to go into other neighborhoods, you're not there, blood. You're letting me get yeah. run up on by bare man. You understand? I'm getting rushed. And you're just chilling at home. 100%. Can we just violate Lewis one more time before proceeding? What? What? Oi! You know that's my guy. He follows me, you know? <laughs> <laughs> the guy that made that... The guy that... The guy, little black you that done that song, blood. He's from... um. He's from Coventry. It's like an hour and a half away from London. Oh. <laughs> I've been chatting to him, blood. Good little youth fam. Big him up, blood. Lewis in the big mud. Up, big up to him. Big up, big up. Big Lewis up in him. the mud. Hey, Veli. Veli's got no shame. <laughs> yeah, well, like Vel. Hey, his name on YouTube is The Bunda Hunter. Tells you all you need to know about that guy right Fuck there. Fucking hell, this guy, blood. Absolute roaster. Yeah. He's dead, man. Big up, Danny, who says, we're all twerking for you this Saturday, Habibi. Stuff him. This is a Spurs fan. Big up to you, Danny D. I I Danny D pulls up on my thing, blood. He needs to just circle himself. Wait, be careful so Troops doesn't ban you off his channel and shit. <laughs> nah, he's lucky, blood. I'll let, he, he, he comes on my thing and chats shit, bro. I let these man chat shit. I can't lie. Hey, I'll listen. Here, like, I'll, like, they'll be chatting shit in the comments, yeah? And I'll be like, mods, don't ban them. Cause I'm cussing them back, bro. I'm like, leave them, leave them, don't ban them, bro. I'm like, unless they try to cuss my mother or something, like, let them chat, yeah, shit, bro. Yeah, I don't care. Mm. Listen, that's why you know what it is. I'm not trying to form any partnerships with any Spurs fans because then the bottle gene will just transfer them to me. So I'm not trying to do any of that. You'd be bottom row with flawless win. blood. Yeah, I'm trying to win, 
this Saturday for me. I'm not trying to win for you. Like I'm trying to win for me. He's not letting me say pause, blood. You get me? Man, I say him. Listen, guys, we can just. We I can big just up Jay as well. <laughs> I see Jay in the Let's... chat. Big up Jay. Yeah, big up Fuck Jay. you though. Later oh, on, we'll us, no. yo, he's made a he made a separate edit for you, Val. Let me show you the edit. I'll show it to you now in a, in, in a second. He's the, so he's he's saying he heard you say about the thing with the you know you're not American. So he's made a special edit for you. This is what he's made right here. Okay, Captain yeah, that, yeah, that's cold blood. I'm sending yeah, that to that, you. Yeah, see, that's cold. Yeah, he's like made that. a special edit. Big up, Val. Too quick with it as well, by the way, Val. Too quick with it. Big up to you, man. Um, so. This game, your midfield, your 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 midfield. We've spoken about uh, that. You've already spoken. We've already spoken about Havertz. The one guy I do want to ask you about, though, um, Deckers. Actually, before I do that, seven hundred fifty people in here. Like the video. Subscribe to this football. Get the likes up because your like helps transform this channel to another people and send it to more and more people. So please do run the likes up right now. Uh, you know, and all the all the super chatters are gonna get a shout at the end. I'm gonna shout you out all by name at the end. So love for the love, all of you incredible guys. Like the video now, subscribe to this is football, my incredible, lovely people in the chat. So Declan Rice, you know, on the start of the season, the conversation was who's been the better summer signing, him or Madison. Sobosly as well was included in that, but kind of dropped off a little bit. Um, with Declan Rice this season, what what do you think he's added differently to this team? How has he elevated the Arsenal Football Club? He's the glue. He just holds everything together. <laughs> <coughs> like when when I see the midfield how it used to be. Mm -mm. Nice, nah, mad. The midfield now with Rice. It's, it's 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 a threat, bro. Like you can't catch us on the break, and it's not just him. It's him, Saliba, and Gabriel. It's the three of them. That's why I'm like I'm confident going to Anfield, because it's not just him. It's 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 it's, it's what he's. If if you get past him, you gotta get past them too as well, blood. You understand? Like big game players as well that can handle handle the pressure. You get me, especially Saliba and Rice. You understand? And it's Rice can do everything. He can win the ball. He can dribble with it. He's good in the transition. He like, and the thing is that he keeps improving every game. His level is increasing every game, blood. You understand? Like, before he even goes on the pitch, it's already seven out of ten. You get me? Like, he is the he, he, you've he been is. waiting for a player like this your whole life. I can tell. Like you've not my whole waiting. life, but like, but not my whole life because I've had like better players, respectfully, like Vieira. Yeah, Vier, and, like, course, you get me. Yeah. So I've been looking for like the replacement, like, and 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 if if he continues how 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 he's how how he's going, then we we may have finally found the Vieira replacement. Blood. That's big words right there. But let me yeah, throw blood. you a curve. Huh? You said that. Let me throw you a curveball right now. Rice, Havertz, Odegaard. Yeah. However, in big games, you know what Arteta has been doing. Jorginho, Rice, Odegaard. Do you see him doing that this Saturday? I could because Jorginho is good on the ball. You get me? And he he he's better at keeping possession than Havertz. You get me? Um, but I don't want to see that. I want to see us more attacking. You get me? Do you think but, that's what Arteta will do, though? That's the thing. Like, because yeah, I, I know he, with you. Yeah. yeah, he probably will, blood. You understand? We ain't seen Jorginho for time as well. So um, I'm not sure how. I actually, I, you know what? We ain't seen Jorginho for time. So I don't even think he'll be up to the speed to go into a game of that intensity. You get me? Whereas Havertz is, Havertz is cooking right now. You understand? Fairs, fairs. I can't even say shit about that to be honest with you because he has been cooking. That Endo will expose Rice and Odegaard and said, Mo, listen, you're both our guys. He's the guy who super chatted me to the top row as well. Big up Mo. I big up Mo, blood. <laughs> big up Mo, but come on. Hey, yo, <laughs> blood, you must have something else in your shisha, blood. You understand? You must, you, you must have what I smoke in your shisha, blood. You understand? Big oh, man you're bad. You're bad, Mo. And said bad. Endo, blood. If you said Sabos, like, I would have been like, mm, like, all right, like you could, you could try, 
You get me? But like Endo, brother, I put Jorginho on them, man. You're, 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 you're mad. You're mad for that. You're mad for that. So, um, with Liverpool, I think the only way we can beat Arsenal is by either putting in a fourth midfielder, aka playing Soboslai left wing and inverting him into the midfield, playing Trent in midfield and Gomez right back, or, or the only way is if we play a 4 3 3 with Trent inverted, but but we put Nunez on the left and Gakpo down the middle. So Gakpo will operate like a fourth midfielder when he drops down deep. Now, I think this game is going to be a very difficult game <clears throat> because Arsenal and Liverpool, obviously, as I said earlier on the stream, first and second place, we knocked first and second for no reason. Like it's December, respectfully. This ain't August. You know, we don't do the Spurs thing where, where we're celebrating August shit. We're talking about December. So we're six months into the season. When it comes to first and second right now, we're first and second, not by merit, by performances, by being the best teams in the league, etc. So I think the Man United game is a completely different game. It's a completely different thing because I feel like the Liverpool players were a little bit shocked. There was a shock factor. They thought that Ten Hag was going to be stubborn again and try attack and try get a result. But they were shocked that, that Man United parked the bus, which I do not think Arsenal are going to do. Now, Arsenal obviously are a much tougher opponent than Manchester United. Arsenal are a much tougher opponent than Manchester United, 100%. Same way, we're a tougher opponent than everyone Arsenal has played so far away from home. Of course, they played City at home, but we're talking about away from home. Um, this is the toughest probably game for them. So for me, I'm looking at this game as a tactical battle. I always see people, you know, headed into games like this who go like, it's going to be 4-3. It's going to be 3-2. And they put up big results and stuff. I don't think this game will be a big result. I think this game will be very close. I think this game will be a tactical battle, an absolute tactical warfare. And this is what I expect to happen this Saturday. Uh, and there's a reason why it's the two strongest defenses in the league. It's actually probably a little bit both our front lines that have been, you know, kind of letting us down a little bit. So Arsenal will play football. And the silver lining for Liverpool Football Club is Liverpool can counterattack. That's one thing that under Jurgen Klopp from start to finish is our strength. When we get the ball on the counterattack, you see, you see motorcycles, you see bikes, you see zzzz. On the counter attack, direct zoom, 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 zoom. That's what that's what you see. So, um, this why for me that's what will make a difference in this game. It's about Arsenal being clinical. The biggest Arsenal weapon is their middle, and their biggest weakness is their flanks. Now, their flanks defensively, when I mean Salah against Zinchenko, and hopefully Nunez against Ben White, not Diaz, because I don't think Diaz will be able to have the Ben White. I think Nunez will just based on pace and power. So that's where I think our strength will lie on the wings. For them down the middle so we need to crowd that midfield area a bit more maybe by dropping down Gakpo or inverting Soboslai if you would like from left wing but for me I'm looking at this game and I know what Liverpool's strengths are I know what Arsenal's strengths are and I think it's going to be an absolute tactical battle and it depends on what Arteta does it depends on what Klopp does because everything me and troops will go out the window if we find surprise decisions from either manager I think Diaz has severely underperformed this season. If I see him start left wing, I'm like, fuck, he ain't even going to get best for black. I'm sure troops will be a little bit like, oh shit, if Jorginho is playing at Anfield. Because as he said, he's not that much up to the pace of the game. Now, he won't, it's not like he'll be scared or anything, but he'll just, Jorginho is a little bit less than a Rice, Odegaard, Havers midfield based on the latest performances. So it's about taking your chances. Something that, you know, a little bit, both of us will say like, we haven't done as much as required lately. As in, Liverpool Football Club, you watch them. Every game, there should be four goals, five goals. You watch Arsenal against Brighton. They could have scored like nine goals that game and they just miss all the chances. So it's about being clinical and, and taking your opportunities. But I suspect this will be a very close game. I don't know if you want to do predictions or not, uh, Troops. You want to do predictions? 2-1 Arsenal. I think there's two ways I can look at this. Using my, my heart, using my brain. Using my heart, I'm going to go 2-1 Liverpool or 1-0 Liverpool. Using my brain, and logically, just based on everything I said, I think this game smells of a 1-1 right here. I could easily see this happen. I could easily see a draw happening in this game just because of tactically everything happening. Now, the one thing we do have is we have four X factors. Arsenal don't have an X factor yet other than Rice this season for me. We have four X factors. Mo. Trent, Van Dijk, and Allison. Those are our four X-Factors. If those four X-Factors turn up, 
Mo Salah decides to turn up, score two goals, then there's nothing Arsenal can do about that. Trent decides to turn up, nothing Arsenal can do about that. Same with our centre-back and goalkeeper. So if Alisson has one of those like cheat code on FIFA type games, then there's nothing Arsenal can do about that either. So it's about it's about those X factors that will be used, we will be using, sorry, as, as our strengths for me in the game. But once again, look, we've yet to have a game where all four have played well. You know, some games it's like Mo Salah's cooking, some games it's Virgil cooking, some games it's Trent Fulham, some games it's Allison as well. So it's kind of been all over the place. But I think this will be an absolute tactical battle. Now, if Arsenal just come to Anfield, play their game and just don't intimidate Anfield, don't do anything what they've done over the last two years, learn from their mistakes. I think they might be get a result. Would it shock me if Arsenal win or Liverpool win? No. But my honest prediction, honest, honest prediction, no cap is a draw. I think this game just smells of a draw. Troops, are you willing to park the bus like United to keep us at bay? No. What, what, what do you say? No. We don't park the bus. <clears throat> we just play smart. Pragmatic, they call it. Pragmatic. Fairs. 3-1 Liverpool, mark my word. Hey, I hope I am wrong. I hope I'm wrong, but you guys need to understand. People always accuse me of twerking for Arsenal. This is not a twerking thing. This is a, this is a, I recognize the team that's top of the league is coming to Anfield. So obviously, it's not going to be as easy as people make out or, or you know, high scoring games. People are saying 3 2, 4 3. That's not what both teams do. Like where we, we do 1 0, 2 0, 2 1. That's what both clubs are doing. That's why we have the strongest defenses in the league. So when you see two clubs with the strongest defenses, you don't really predict high-scoring games like that. That's why for me, I said, if it's my heart as a Liverpool fan, I'll say a Liverpool win. But honestly, if I'm just using my complete logic to think, I can I can just see this ending in a draw because that's that's what it smells of. But anyway, listen, I'm going to wrap it up here. This has been an absolutely elite stream. Um, big up to all the incredible people in the chat. Well, you have gotten your warning. Next time, no Captain America, please, because we have an FA Cup game soon as well. Uh, there you are. See this guy? What I tell you about this <laughs> My guy. <laughs> My guy. <laughs> My Ray Ray. <laughs> My guy, blood. <laughs> That's my guy. <laughs> hey, Val. Hey, Val, I need to send you on a spying mission to Sarcasm City TV. <laughs> Go get all the dumb shit that Ryan has set and put it up in a clip. I'm going to play it for him next time he super chats me. That oh, Bum shit. Diaz doesn't play and we play sexy football. I'm shocked. By the way, Trenton midfield won't work. Arsenal win 2-0. Hey, I, I agree with your first half. I don't want Diaz to play either. <laughs> like Diaz has been stinky, you know? That left-hand side, I do not need Diaz in there at all. I want Nunez to start left wing just because of his pace and power. So I agree with that. I doubt we'd concede two and not score at Anfield, though. Like, this is the thing. So, even if we do lose, I think it'll more be like a 2-1. But, listen, all logic, if I'm just being completely logical, it's all headed towards a draw, in my opinion. That's my my, my honest opinion. But anyway, big up to Ryan. Big up to Mo. Uh, big up to Danny. Big up to Josh. Nilotpal. Chombe. Lee. Big up to James. Big up to Steppers. Big up to Murad. NRL, JJ, Ash, big up to Ashraf and Abdi has for the Super Chats. Big up to you guys. Make sure you are all slapping the likes. We're almost at 400 likes. We actually killed our target. I set up a poll at the start. 300 likes target. Are you liking for uh, a Hussam W or a Troops W? 63% says a Hussam W. Big up to you guys. I hope we do win this Saturday, of course. Make sure you guys are running the likes up. Make sure you guys are subscribing. We're two likes away from 400 likes. Troops, my brother. It's been an absolute pleasure. Once again, incredible stream. Where can the people find you? What have we got coming up? Tell the people about the combined 11 we're about to do as well. Troops TV. You know where we are on YouTube. You get me at Troops AFC on all the socials. You get me Twitter, Instagram, all of that. You understand? Um, combined 11 will be dropping at 9 a.m. tomorrow on Troops TV. Uh, we're literally going to go and film that right now, blood. Well, I'm going to send him a link and then we're going to film it, blood, you get me? But that one's going to kick off, blood, you get me? If you haven't liked the thing, make sure you like the thing already, blood. You get me? Subscribe. You know the vibe. Big up my bro. Fuck Liverpool. We're coming for them three points, blood. Wow. Wow. That was a curveball at the end there. Fuck Arsenal. How about that? Anyway, listen. We'll see. I'm being humble headed into this game. Do not let me win this Saturday is all I'm saying. If this game ends in a Liverpool win... What will happen on the Back Again podcast will be an absolute bloodbath. But 
anyway, people are asking in the chat about later on shows. Listen, we're gonna go record the pre the combined eleven now. It's dropping nine a.m. tomorrow. Make sure you check that out at eleven tonight. We're live for the Ahua predictions show as well. So we've got a lot coming your way. I'm gonna spoil you with content in this upcoming period. So big up to you guys. The target is 25k subs before the end of the year. We're 500 subscribers away. Like the video, subscribe, share everywhere. Make sure you tell your friends about this channel. And we'll see you guys back at 11 p.m. UK time, inshallah. Peace.